Scripture is amazing because there is so much depth to it. And the depth can come when we listen to it or read large chunks of it at a time and understand the big picture of what God is doing throughout the scriptures. There's other parts where we can go all the way down to understanding a single word, which is what I want to talk about today. It's why pastors geek out when they start to talk about the Greek or the Hebrew. It's the original language in which the Bible was written, whether that be Old Testament or New Testament. And because that isn't the English language, and because it wasn't in the context of 2024, the meaning can have different variances to it. And so I use an app called Blue Letter Bible. It's free and it helps you understand a specific word. I'm gonna give you notes to one that I looked up not too long ago and I actually looked up the word saved. And you can see how many times that word was used in what context it was used. And something that was interesting to me is often we think of the word saved in reference to like spiritual salvation, like going to heaven, being in relationship with God. But there are multiple times throughout scripture that saved actually means like, a whole healing, a whole physical healing, that it's not just spiritual for the future, but there is a saving, there is an ongoing saving, both physically and spiritually that can happen through that word. And when you dive into these words, it gives you more context. And so I'm gonna give you the link to the app. My challenge for you today isn't to download the app or to look up a specific word. The idea is just to go deeper. And there's a lot of different ways that you can go deeper. But my challenge for you today is to go deep into the word of God, to understand there is so much depth in a single word, as well as in the context of the whole Bible. And all of it is powerful and life-giving.